Hey everyone, we've been talking about how to survive this season uh, over the last seven, eight videos. And man, we've been facing a lot this season, haven't we? Pandemic globally. We've uh, and had we've had a lot of racial and political tension over the last uh, couple weeks too. So how do we cope with this kind of stress? What do we do um, to get through this and to survive this season? Well, Jesus has some answers for us. Actually, back when in Matthew 22, verse 36, uh, there were some local religious leaders, and so they come to Jesus and they ask him, Hey, Jesus, uh, out of all the Old Testament commands, all the instructions in the Old Testament, what's uh, the most important one? See, they're trying to trap him and trick him. But Jesus sees right through it, and he answers this way. He says, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And a second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. So by neighbor, Jesus didn't just mean your family, friends, and people like you. Uh, he meant any human being. <laughs> any human is worthy of being loved like a neighbor. And how are we supposed to love our neighbors? Well, Jesus says that we're supposed to invest in them, care about them, support them, just as much as we would do so for ourselves. Love our neighbor as ourself. So, what in the world does this have to do with the tension in our world today? <laughs> well, if you love your neighbor, you're actually going to get to know them better. It's going to break down fear. It's going to clear up misunderstandings. When you get to know your neighbors, it'll help uh, develop real relationships that you can care for one another and work together to make the world a better place, maybe starting in your own neighborhood. So Emily and I have worked on this. Uh, we're trying to figure out how to stroll our neighborhood a little bit more. And here is our neighborhood. So we love to take my son out on his scooter, on his bike. I mean, we're out here in this drive almost every day. Uh, we really need to get his energy out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, but in the same token, we've gotten to know so many neighbors because we've been out here and we've been able to swap equipment, swap phone numbers, share advice, hear how people are doing. It's been a great way to meet neighbors. Walk in the block. So you might say, well, wait, this is a quarantine. Aren't we supposed to stay inside? You know, how would walking the block actually help us survive this season? Are we supposed to avoid people? Well, actually, I mean, you can walk with a mask on, or you could talk to people, wave across the street. You could even have long conversations with folks from six feet away. That's totally doable. So how can you walk your block? Go ahead and take a nice romantic stroll with your spouse. You could chase after your children um, or walk your dog. Oh, there's whatever. But all that to say is walk your block. You may find that it ends up being a great step forward.